If we were to point to a hole in the Galaxy S6s armor, battery life would be it. The phone has slimmed down, got a better design, taken away the removable battery pack and ultimately lost space for the power. As a result, it can only just about last the day in normal conditions, which isn't really long enough for a market-leading smartphone. It's not going to just turn to dust in your hands daily, and for many tasks it's as good as the next phone, but the LG G3 and the Sony Xperia Z3 both offer much longer-lasting power packs. If you're after a phone that can really take anything you can throw at it and show it to you in a lovely way, the Galaxy S6 is it. Whether it's the secret high-resolution audio mode, the powerful video player or the ability to control your TV, this is a phone that can do it all and do it well. The music player has been refined to the point where there aren't a load of gimmicks, you can't trace your finger through a square to get a recommended mood-based playlist anymore, which makes us sad, but does focus on giving the best audio experience it can. Adapt Sound is a real favorite, go through a series of beep tests, listening for sounds, not performing shuttles up and down a lab, and the phone will work out how good your headphones slash ears are and adjust the sound accordingly. Video also looks amazing thanks to the combination of QHD resolution and Super AMOLED technology, and with Samsung's excellent format compatibility there's very little it won't play, so you can rest assured that 3-hour train journey will just whiz by. And if you're at home and can't find the remote, then Samsung's Chuck 2 remote control apps on the phone, although they're oddly the same thing. Both Peel TV and Smart Remote are built on the same app and offer identical experiences, so it really boils down to whichever color scheme you like the most.